Hi Capricorn, it is Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading and today we have another cool reading for you. And in this reading we have Nurture and here we see this is actually an 11 which is about two people or a choice. Yeah. And so we see this woman wearing this beautiful plum colored purple dress. I love that color plum. It's not ma mahogany or maroon. It's, it's plum. It's beautiful. It's violet. Yeah. And so here she is blowing this flute in the middle of the forest, right? This whole, this whole deck is about the forest basically, uh, or, mm -hmm. and so, uh, here she is in the enlightened forest, right? And, or the enchanted, however you like it. And she's playing that. And the horse is next to her, either the pony or the Shetland pony, uh, which I find to be interesting because it's not a mare. It's not a stallion running away. Uh, and you know, the horse is very content uh, just kind of grazing here sort of, and then we have the butterfly here and th the tree is here with all these little swirls. So she's nurturing herself playing this flute, right? Because creativity does nurture the soul. It does. It raises your vibration. Yes, it does. And, uh, mm -hmm. and you know, likewise is true. If you are a creator or an artist and you are not, um, uh, putting any time into that. This can cause like a depression. Yeah, it can. People don't realize. Okay. So she's nurturing herself. Very Venus. It's true. We're in Venus energy in the still in, uh, Venus. Actually, I feel like, yeah, uh, Venus is still in, in, uh, it's still in Taurus, I believe, but you know, now we are in Gemini season. We are today's the 20th. In fact, it is today. Yeah. Happy birthday to all the Gemini's. And so, but she's doing this very Venetian thing, right? Or some people like to say Venusian, right? It is right. And because, uh, Venus is about taking care of yourself. It's about the good things in life, beauty and health and things like that. It is. So here she is, she's nurturing herself and she is like just building her energy up. It's very interesting building in, uh, she's being really good to herself, but you know, this is an 11. It's a two. She wants to nurture herself. I mean, nurture somebody else most likely because of the two, or she's making a choice to nurture herself. Okay. Now we have the strength card here. It's really courage, right? And remember you guys, the strength card is always self mastery, right? It's not, you know, you're going to go to the fair and, you know, hit the, hit the anvil with your, you know, with the, uh, do they still do that? Right. To show the, the strength <laughs> with the hammer, right? Any, any, oh, they do. Very cool. So he's holding this kind of golden thing and it's gold. It's not, or it's a, or it's a crystal and there's some self mastery going on. And, uh, mm -hmm. it, he might've discovered it. It's very interesting because the way he is holding this crystal in his hand discovered his own self mastery or his strength. Right. And, uh, yeah. And so we have wisdom and we have heaven. And of course there's wisdom here. How can there not be right? And, uh, let's have a look here, uh, briefly here at the heaven card, because we know what wisdom is about and wisdom is a number nine. So this is a completion. This is somebody who has, uh, moved into their wise part of their life or basically, right. They've raised their consciousness. They're wiser. And the heaven card is also a nine. And this is another completion. So, uh, this is where somebody ends up here and heaven is no, they're not going to die. No, they're not. Let's have a look at this, uh, heaven card, mm -hmm. but they, they might be going to heaven if you believe there is one, right? Uh, for me, we're all just, we're going to reincarnate and we're all going to be together. And the people who did all the horrible things, those people, uh, are going to have to, uh, you know, redo the lesson. Yeah. It might come even more terrible. I mean, that's what I believe, right? Yeah. Ouch. Right. So heaven, it talks about unsatisfied with life, searching for happiness. This is like searching for your heaven, basically messages from the heavens. Uh, this is the most spiritual card in the whole deck. Mm -hmm. And messages from the heavens are more than likely. You could be facing some major life challenges and questioning your life. Uh, your life choices, your life path, look for signs, uh, like the appearance of a willy uh, or a wily kind of wagtail or extra bright flowers appearing at significant times or a clock that seems to stop for no reason as these can be signs that your loved ones are close by. 
Mm -hmm. You will probably soon have dreams of a loved one that has passed over and they will appear to you looking younger and healthier. That's true. I've dreamt of my grandma uh, standing next to me and she looked definitely over me twice now and she was younger and healthier. You'll know they are happier and safe where they are. Pay attention to gut feelings as intuition is on high. Okay, very interesting. This talks about messages from loved ones. Uh, and somebody went to face some major challenges here. And it is about learning uh, who they really are because we have wisdom. It's about learning. It's about stepping into their true power with their wisdom. And that's why we have self-mastery over here with strength. We do. And interesting, the strength card is a three here. And this means they're able to manifest or collaborate on some level. And you may not do that without self-mastery. No, it'll just be good luck to you and then you know be gone yeah you have to you you move through life and you you know you reach your true potential with self-mastery it's it's not the other way around right yeah no you, that's how you do it and we have 12 and 13 here which is interesting right uh one card after another but listen to reality and we have the world as a stage was first and so this world is a stage it just basically talks about kind of get out there and live your life right and don't be afraid it, it really is she's standing at the cross right and she's kind of happy here and uh mm -hmm. this talks about somebody uh finally this talks about your true life purpose the world is a stage and you are not afraid to step into that whatever even if you don't you know it's not on a stage per se right and this is about your true life potential we have listened to reality and this talks about understanding uh that there's a way to reach that and it's with self-mastery but it's kind of understanding too that wherever whatever challenging your challenge you're uh, facing it could be be like to show you the right way but it can also be capricorn that you figured out that some type of a chapter has to end in your life we have the polar bear uh, laying on the skinny man who's naked yeah and so yeah very interesting uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, he's laying on him and, you know, the guy's like, gee, uh, maybe I need to get out from under basically, or maybe I need to kind of end some type of a chapter. This is just showing that somebody's not vibrating to, they're in a low vibration. Basically, that's really what that listen to reality is. It's like, listen, your life is kind of a mess. So <coughs> you need to change it. That's really what that's about. And, uh, this reading is really interesting because, uh, you're going to get a message from somebody Capricorn. It does look like maybe you're getting messages from the heavens. Let's have a look today at your cards. Yeah. Very interesting. But yeah, I feel like this is about somebody else because we have nurture, which is an 11. Yeah, probably it most likely is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Somebody's listening to the fact that you're the one in this reading and that wherever they were, that's how the, I'm reading this, wherever they were in their life, is or this may be you was not the right place like a definitely a lower vibration because we have wisdom so this is beautiful because you know once we reach that point where we are living uh understanding our divinity and we are living in wisdom then uh is when everything is is beautiful basically everything can change for the betterment right and let's see what we have capricorn if you'd like your own psychic reading get one i'm accurate i'm a silver grad and they're really a lot of fun and they're very personal we usually do them on the phone and uh, you can get a video if you'd like and we do a tarot spread at the end it, you know get one on somebody you don't know you just met them you don't trust them or your own life perspective yeah i'm definitely helping with that yeah i just finished my life coach certification with jack canfield yeah i did so yeah you can get a free Five minute psychic reading with Mystic Sense, and I offer separate psychic readings and tarot readings as well. And interpreting charts. Let's do this. And we have the Ace of Wands starts the reading. So, this is what I mean about somebody learned here. And uh, it's, this is about you and somebody else. Uh, most likely, for some of you, you are manifesting a new career or moving up, moving up to what you really want or stepping into that. You could be taking advantage of that by grabbing this wand capricorn you may be doing that right and uh he's it's an opportunity that he is taking right the divine hand and this is very this is cool let's see what else we have and the the seven of wands it's a different in this deck this is today we're using 
uh, I, don't, I don't know if this is a before tarot, the after, I feel, I feel, I forget the name of it, uh, but, uh, no matter, we know the cards here, and, uh, mm -hmm, yes, we do, and in the challenge or the crossing, it may be just influential energy here, crossing energy sits the man praying, and this is the seven of wands, so sevens are about contemplation and reflection, and he's definitely doing that, this is contemplation, when you pray, you meditate, and, you know, this is about his life, but he's, it's in the challenge, you or your person, Capricorn, I'll read it as them, because, you know, it's too much to go back and forth, but uh, if it's about, if this is about your career, this is you, right, if it's about love, it's the other person, that's how I read it, that's how I do my readings, and so he's praying, and look where he's praying for this new opportunity, a passionate new opportunity, or an inspiring one, right, somebody, and this person, you know, leaves this place where they used to be, listen to reality, look what this is, look at my life, uh, the polar bear is sitting on me, right, and you know, I can't do that, I can't continue like that, I only weigh 95 pounds, interesting how he has a big tummy here, like he hasn't been eating, or nurturing his body the right way, he's a real skinny guy, right, and uh, he, but his tummy sticks out, almost like he's not, he's not feeding himself the right food, or he's not uh, eating from the right tree, or if you guys understand, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure you do, or following me, right, and that's probably why we have nurture here, and, uh, mm -hmm. and in the challenge, why this, not the challenge, but the root, why it's all happening, the overall energy is a passion and opportunity being offered, or being seized, yes, seized, right, and so the six of wands, the sixes are rec recognizing here, they are, and he's being recognized for his good work here. He's uh, playing some type of, uh, uh, what do they call that? Sports, I forget what they call it, jockey. Mm -hmm. Jockey, uh, I don't know, uh, for, I forget what they call that, but they play this in England. I don't think they play that here. And uh, God bless. And so uh, here he is, and this, this is the squire or the priest, right? Putting that on his head, recognizing him here. Mm -hmm. this person's hoping, uh, Capricorn, you're going to recognize them, and if this is you in your career, you're hoping that you're going to actually receive this and be recognized, it can also be that you just recognize this in your life, and you're praying for this opportunity, yeah, you could, why is that seven of wands there where he is praying, right, and, uh, mm -hmm. and we have the two of wands, and this is about choosing a life path, or choosing, choosing somebody, choosing something, and so is that nurture card, most likely, and so, uh, the man's watching him, so it's possible, if this person's coming, it's possible somebody kind of knows that, like, their person's making another choice, because he's watching it, he's watching him do that, like, oh, he's leaving, he has a choice here, he's holding up the globe, if it's you, you're kind of watching yourself, like, yeah, I'm doing this, and the Six of Wands is showing up with the Three of Swords reversed. Look at that. So this is coming out of heartbreak or disappointment. Uh, it's definitely. Mm -hmm. And this could be like, if this is you doing this for yourself, this is you definitely like seizing joy in your life and, uh, you know, going after some type of opportunity here. Mm -hmm. Definitely it is. After there's challenges here, definitely, or there was. Those are going away because of somebody's wisdom. Yeah, Nine of Swords, and he's afraid, Capricorn. He's definitely afraid of, uh, he's afraid. He's, you know, he can't sleep. His eyes are open. He's in bed, and there's blood on the, on the swords on the wall. And this is about, uh, you know, anxiety and fear uh, about a completion it is. And we also have the death card with it. This is transformation that, uh, you want, or your person, and this is like, uh, this may not happen, like, it's, the, like, there's worry that something won't change, I feel like this person wants to nurture you, and, uh, they have gone through some type of challenging event that has, you know, made them stronger, we have the strength card, if this is you, this is you, like, gee, I, you know, I want my life to change tenfold, yeah, a huge change, not just, you know, 
It's just a big change. And the Two of Pentacles is reverse. This is the mindset. This is like I already figured this out. I was going back and forth all about this. Uh, could have been there could have been in, in love there might have been juggling I don't want to juggle anymore two people especially when we see the three of swords right yeah and we have the page of cups here and uh-huh mm -hmm. this can be I'm not you know I'm not going back and forth anymore I'm trusting my intuition definitely it can also be this energy here is uh, I was going back and forth on how to present because I feel like somebody's going to come and this person's going to talk to you. Definitely could be uh, communication coming in with the page here. Yeah. Right? The page. He wants you to read his page, Capricorn. Right? Of course. Right? Page. Mm hmm. And so, uh, you know, this is going back and forth about coming to talk to you. It definitely is. There's a lot of reflection in that. And we have the magician. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, this is about a new beginning. But the thing about that is the magician is totally in his power. But with this card, you know, this person could have maybe hurt you. We have the three of swords and the swords are out, but it's reversed. And it's possible they hurt you in this reading. We have the five of swords here. Or maybe, you know, maybe they're coming from some type of a hurtful situation that they have left behind. Because there definitely is a recognition that I need to leave something behind here. We have listened to reality. Right? Yeah. I mean, right? Yeah. And so, uh, in the magician though, he has this, it's possible here this person's worried here when they come talk to you because they were like a player or a trickster. Because he's got the, you know, he has the monkey with him. He snakes around his neck. I mean, that's great, but, you know, for a new life. But when the monkey and the snake both show up here, uh, you know, there could have been a tricksterism. This person could have been a trickster. There's no such word as tricksterism, but hey, uh, in today's world, you can make up any, you can make up any, any word. And if it's said long enough, it could be the worst word in the world, the most ghetto word. And you'll see it in the, in the, uh, You'll see it in the dictionary. You will. <laughs> it's really a, that's that's not a good that's not a good sign for society. No, it's not. But the magicians here, I feel like this person was some type of a player or something, liar or something. And we have the nine of swords, and so this is them worried about transformation. Like, gee, I hope so. Oh, I hope I can transform this with Capricorn. If it's about you, you're stepping into your power here in in a major way. You may have been disappointed by somebody and you're just stepping into your power, even by a career maybe or just something, definitely. Uh, but this is definitely uh, full speed ahead. Uh, I know who I am. We have the wisdom card. Yeah, and we have self-mastery with the strength card. So the Hierophant shows up. It's in the near future. Uh, you know, he looks like an angry Pope, right? And, you know, what's up with that, right? That's You know, whenever I see anybody talking on TV or whatever, uh, and they have an angry or pictures of them and they look angry a lot. Um, it's not a good sign because, you know, it's just not. And, you know, uh, what is it? Uh, body language is everything. Yeah. Body language is what you can't hide. Right. So, yeah. And so look at that. If you, you think you, you can you trust certain people and you see they got a bad look on their face. Oh, sure. And now we have the eight of pentacles with it, with the hierophant here. Mm -hmm. This is, this person is really believing in really like putting the work in with you or devoting themselves to you, right? This is like a, a full belief in this. And this may be you, if it's a career, you completely believe in this Capricorn or some type of endeavor completely. And uh, you're putting all your faith into it. You are. And the three of wands and is showing up. And this is the concern here with the 10 of swords, and the three of wands is about a new beginning. This is the concern. He's reading something. And the bird is here, almost like this is a message. But it's also about a new, it's about the future. But he's turned his back to what's out at bay here. Then there could be some turning. If your person's coming here, right, which definitely could be, they may be turning their back on something. Because there's a major learning here. And the three of swords is reversed with the swords out. So we see a new beginning down here, but I feel like the concern here is this person's going to tell you that they have left some something. Here's the Ten of Swords, and he walks away from a disaster zone. And there's more. There's people involved with that because they're over here looking. They're behind these bushes that look like you know canned spinach. Yeah, these bushes, right? 
Do you ever have canned spinach? Yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend it right now. So we have the Ace of Cups, right? This is in the environment with the strength card. So Capricorn, this is more self-mastery, right? And, you know, she's here and the lion's roaring at her. She's like, oh, you know what? Just kind of, I'm in my power. She's not afraid, but she's, you know, watching him. She's got a wreath here, which is really interesting. Mm -hmm. But this is the number eight, and the eight is about your power and your divinity, because here is the infinity, your infinity, uh, the glyph or the symbol. So this is how we step into our power, knowing we are a divine person. Yes, knowing you're not just, you know, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Bones or Mr. and Mrs., you know, thighs or whatever that is, right? Mm -hmm. And the strength card showing up with the Ace of Cups. This is in the environment. This person has, this person, Capricorn, has the courage to come and ask you for a new beginning. But they're worried. Here's the Nine of Swords. Ouch. <laughs> they're worried. So we have the Six of Swords. And if this was you, worried about this new career, whatever you want to step into, it's the same with you. You were worried. This shows up in the past, which is good, Nine of Swords. But you were worried. But now it's like... I got the courage. It's really interesting, too, because today I got off the phone with a Capricorn who told me she quit her uh, very lucrative job to uh, kind of be an influencer. Yeah, and I just said, you know, uh, a marketing influencer. I just said, you know, good luck because I feel like you can totally do it. Yeah, this is somebody I did a reading for a long time ago. When I first did the reading, I was like, oh, my God, this person, on a Zoom call, this person's powerful, right? Yeah, so... Uh, right here, now we have the Six of Swords showing up in the, the hopes and the desires. And this Six of Swords is a transition. It's a change. So look how he offers the hand to the woman. And she's going to get in the boat with him. She is. But, uh, you know, this can be definitely about two people. We see two here. We see, we see many people here. And uh, mm -hmm, there could have been a third party. There's a lot of cards with lots of people. There's, you know, there's about four or five, uh, four or five people here. And right here we have, you know, five people, five of swords. We have two here. Just kind of lots of folks showing up. We have two over here, right? And so, you know, and then we have, like, you know, more people here. There could have been third-party energy for sure. But the six of swords is a hope and a desire. I hope I get to the place where I'll feel much better, where I will have made uh, progress in my life and, you know, reach this goal or whatever I want. I mean, this person, and if it's love, they could be hoping that you'll go along Go along on the ride. He's uh, extending his hand to her, right? And we have the Five of Swords showing up in the potential outcome. They call this in this deck a short-lived victory. And let's see. And the Nine of Cups reversed. Yeah, this talks about you might have had a victory in a career, Capricorn, but it was short-lived because you don't want it. Yeah, you don't want it. You're just like, no, I want this other Ace of Wands starting the reading. Uh, Ace of, uh, there's another Ace, Ace of Cups here. So, you know, this is, I don't want this. And uh, whatever it was, it was like in a lower vibration. Like, it's like not the life purpose or, and if it's a relationship, somebody was in another relationship and they're like, no, Capricorn is the one. Yeah, this is a great reading. It really is. And we're going to end this reading. Thank you so much for joining me. Get your psychic reading, Capricorn. Get your freak on. And you may not like that, that terminology, right? Right? I mean, I don't either, but I'm just having fun over here, right? Thanks so much for joining me. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the little bell so you may receive notifications of my uploads. And next up, I'm going to be doing Aquarius and Pisces. Thank you so much, you guys. And I'm always going to have the 10 signs uh, every month, the 12, 10, 12 signs. Uh, they won't be as often as Capricorn and Sagittarius. No, but I will be doing them for sure. So, uh you know, yeah, and I have been, and I'm on Aquarius now, you guys. <laughs> it's not like I'm reporting to you guys. Thanks so much, you guys.